Hey guys, it's Brad and Paolo. Paolo. That means we're in Siena or somewhere, somewhere in Tuscany, Western Umbria. He'll basically go wherever there's something to sell or buy because he's like me. He's like a real estate nut. Um, we're in Siena today and we're going to go look at a very large 280 metri quadrati. Yes. Pure minimal. 280 square meter, about 3,000 square foot apartment that is big and nicely done and even has two parking spaces that's a little extra but two parking spaces here inside the Centro Storico. So the uh, apartment has two bathrooms and I'm forgetting three. something. Three bathrooms. Three. I'm sorry, excuse me. Not, uh, two bathrooms three. and a terrace. Now about three months ago we made a video of a of an apartment that had incredible frescoes. Yes. And this is in the same building, right? In the same building. So uh, we're already here. We're only about two minutes walking from uh, Piazza del Campo. Yes. Il Campo. And the Duomo. And the Duomo. Yeah, so we're really right in the center of things here in Siena. So let's go see this thing. I'm really excited. He gets the best shit. I mean the best stuff. He always does. All right, let's go. I want to say thank you to all my new memberships that have joined the channel. You can join by clicking on the button below that says join. Get early access to videos and lots of other great perks. Support Brad's world. This is going to be super nice. So guys, this is a very large apartment, over 3,000 square feet. I know I'm not supposed to use square feet, but it's over 3,000 square feet. It's 280 square meters, and it has a lot of neat add-ons, like a big outside terrace, a big outside courtyard, the possibility for a two-car garage in the Centro Storico. Morano. So this is the first bedroom. Let me show you the floors. The floors are in great shape. There's options in this apartment for how you want to slice and dice it up. The ceilings are anywhere from nine feet to 12 or 13 feet. Sorry, sorry, from three meters to four meters, maybe a little more than four. This is like a, a small dining room, but I, I think you make this into another bedroom. The view will be the same from that window. I don't see any reason to go out that one. But a nice big room with really nice ceilings. No frescoes in this apartment, but the ceilings are all in excellent shape. And when I say we're smack dab in the middle of Siena, we are two or three minutes walking from the Duomo. This bedroom is just a bit bigger than the other ones. Again, with the four meter ceiling. A couple minutes from the Duomo, a couple minutes walking from Il Campo. You buy this, you have the rights to park inside the Centro Storico, which is huge. Split system, always good to have. Radiant heat. The floor is nothing special, but it's all very nice. And if you wanted to go over it with some, say, travertine or something and really, really take this to the next level, you could do that. So that was bedroom number three. And somewhere down here, I got Paolo Capitani waiting to ambush us. Let's go out this window first though. This is another nice view out here.
And there's Paolo Capitani. Look at that ceiling. Beautiful. See if I can zoom in on that woodwork. Paolo, what year is this apartment, more or less? Oh. Do you remember? We, we are on a tower. This is a part of the tower mm -hmm. because the apartment is built in the first city wall. So very, very old. Maybe 10th century, okay. 9th century, wow. something like that. So yeah. more than a thousand years yeah. old. So the, the first part of the city, the smaller city, then they, they made a second city wall mm -hmm. because the, the, the city grew up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is one of the oldest parts of the city. Eventually there were three city walls, correct? Yes. Wow. So this is p p part of the first wall? Yeah. Interesting. Well, guys, this room is big. It looks to be about 25 square meters, this one room. It's always hard to tell. Yeah. Maybe four by yeah. almost six. Maybe more. And we've been talking more and more in my videos, and I want to talk with you real fast about this. What, what, what we can do, construction costs, that kind of stuff. I think this would make, because we have more rooms to go through, guys. Yes, it's set up as a dining room. I think this would make a neat master bedroom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you have beautiful ceiling, and then you come through here. If you made this into a big bedroom instead of a dining room, this could be a closet. And that would be so unusual to have a really nice closet. It's just an idea. But I know for my wife, Olivia, it's very hard to get enough room for all her different outfits and shoes and a place to dress and all that kind of stuff. And then you have this beautiful deck out here, too. Like I always say, you're buying it, you get to decide. Deck goes all the way down there. You get to decide. Paolo gets to decide if he buys it, how he's going to use the place, right? Do whatever you want. As long as the city, <laughs> as long as the city agrees with you. Yeah, the ceiling's phenomenal. All right, let's keep going because this place is really big. So you had this room. Then you also have this one and we're getting closer and closer to the kitchen. And see, that's why I said I thought that room we were just in could make a nice big bedroom because this to me seems like more of a dining room, I think. But that's just what I think. So here's the kitchen. Nice. The vent is actually vented. Nice commercial cooktop. Not commercial, but it's pretty close to commercial cooktop. That's really nice. That's some strong burners. And a lot of cabinetry. You don't often get that. Your sinks and things. And we'll be coming out here in a minute. But off the kitchen, you have a little deck. Terrace. But the sale also includes that huge courtyard. And we're going to get there. It also includes this whole room over here which is big. Again, it must be about 200 square feet, about 20 square meters, more or less. We're gonna come back through the kitchen, but before we leave this end of the house, I'm gonna show you the big bedroom, excuse me, the big bathroom. Very large walk-in shower. Big mirror, there's Brad. Brad's world. I might come in with something a little newer than those, but that's easy. Less than a thousand, you could get top of the line installed for the toilets. The shower's nice. That's not too old because it has a rain shower head. View on one side, not too shabby. And then a courtyard.
and you also have this room. So that's your caldaya, the water heater. This is all in excellent shape. Little storage shelf over there. All right, let's go back through the kitchen. There's Mr. Paolo on the phone. <laughs> you have to stay after school. You ready to go outside? Are we heading outside yet? So this is yet another room off the kitchen. Also could be an eating room, dining room, living room. I mean, one needs to be, a, there needs to be a living, what we call a living room. Yeah. <coughs> Sofa, divani, divani. TV. <coughs> What I would do, if it was mine, I would take the kitchen here, open that door, and make a big living room there. Hmm. So Interesting. <coughs> now that you mentioned opening a wall, being that I'm American and we like big open concept, yeah. if I was going to spend that money, and since the gas and the water is already in here, I think I would open that wall and make that a gigantic kitchen, really yeah. a chef's, oh, a chef's nice. kitchen, yeah. and make this the dining room to eat all my good food, because yeah. I make really good food. Pretty good food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a half bath. Oh, excuse me. It's a full bath, because it has the shower. I think because it was so tight in here, they felt they couldn't put in a glass enclosure. But who knows? Now, this is really remarkable out here to have a gigantic courtyard. Now, this courtyard, Paolo hiding in the house. He doesn't want to come out in the heat. This courtyard is more like 30 30 metri quadrati. 30. 35. 35? Maybe 40. Yeah. So we're, we're talking about a 400 square foot. Here, I'll let you stay in the shade. It's big. He's getting smaller and smaller. There he is. So yeah, it's a big, uh, it's a big courtyard. And you can actually see the old wall here. I mean, isn't this place amazing? You have all this stuff. You, you just have to look around. But six by nine. Huh? Six by nine. Six by nine? Uh, well, that's five hundred. Yeah, it's big. 500 square feet, 50 square meters more or less. So this is a service room. That's your big house water tank. You could put in a washer and dryer. You could do whatever you want in here. Washer and dryer is what I would have. Again, another nice big room. So this is the garage that you could have. We're just... 30 meters up the street from the apartment. Easily fit two cars, easy. And some extra storage and things. If you're interested, ask Paolo, because he'll give you all the details. Hey guys, so what did you guys think of that apartment? I gotta tell you something. I'm sitting on a corner here in Siena and I'm with my best buddy, Paolo. And it's about 36 degrees out right now, so that's getting upwards almost 100. It's pretty warm today. Uh, all these people walking around, all these people that you see. 
that's why these apartments, like we just looked at, are 800,000 euros, almost. It's a big apartment, it's, it's 3,000 square feet, it's 380 metri quadrati. But if it was 20 miles away, 30 kilometers away, it might be 300,000 euros. But when you're here and you have two and a half million people coming to your town and the apartment is only three blocks this way, that's why they can get such good money for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the tour. Follow one to say goodbye. Ciao. And we'll see you guys next time on Brad's World. Ciao.